Alrighty. Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> um, so I wanted to do a mukbang, I guess today. I'm having like the most mixed emotions about it ever because I literally said that I wasn't gonna do mukbangs, but so I got green tea. It's just in a regular thing, but I ordered my food from Ja Burrito. I got a sushi burrito and I also got chips and cheese. So yeah, I'm hungry as heck. I was low key thinking about not even recording this just because I was like, I am not about to wait until I have to set up the camera and stuff. I'm gonna eat right now. This is what everything looks like when you get it. You get a burrito. What I went ahead and got is tempura shrimp, the sushi shrimp, surimi crab, rice, seaweed roll, green onions, cilantro, and spinach is what should be in here. And then like I said, I got this and the, this, so yeah. It's a little bit bright, and then I have another light on top of here because I felt like it was making like a shadow. So I'm trying to improve my lighting in each video for you guys. If I didn't say there was spinach in here, there's spinach and eel sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This shit is good, y'all. Like, Hopefully there's no spinach in my teeth, but. So anyways, what I was trying to say was, um, so I've been doing, I started this detox cleanse type of thing. And basically, I've just been drinking like only water as a result. I haven't been eating as clean as I probably could, but. No, I'm on a diet. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle change. They have the best cheese, like this is like the ideal queso, oh my gosh. Like I said, I'm in my backyard. Um, I. And I love like the flowers and stuff. It's so pretty back here. It's like I have bushes and like flowers and like cacti and stuff. Is that cacti? This is like an aloe vera plant to me, but I don't really know what it is, but. Summer's coming, so I definitely wanna like get some little like furniture and stuff back here and make sure it's like nice and clean so I can Host like barbecues and stuff. I love summer. It's really my favorite season, actually. I'm getting more into hosting now that I have my house. I hosted Danny when she came, and that was really cool. It was, it was easy, like it wasn't hard. Um, I hosted like housewarmings and small parties. I actually really like doing stuff like that. Like. Probably the only thing I don't like about having so many plants and so many things and stuff back here is that 
I see a lot of bees and like a lot of bugs. I don't like bugs. Never been stung by a bee. Don't want to fucking start. But I realized that if you kill the bees, you kill the flowers and plants, right? Because they have to pollinate and all that. So if you guys have homes, you guys have plants, flowers, how do you control the bees? Like, I don't mind them being here. It just needs to be controlled, you know? Sorry if I'm squinting a bit. I'm like facing directly where the sun is, so. But. I got this new light on top of my camera that, you know what, I just saw the whole ass light. I did not get a new light. I've had this light for literally probably like over a year, probably more. Had the same light, okay, I just never put batteries in it, never tried it. And now I keep batteries in the house, so I just grabbed it one day. I was going through my beauty room, like my kit and stuff yesterday, just going through my makeup and stuff. Just bored, just bored, just doing some shit. I'm trying to get into the habit of when I get bored to clean. Because my goal is to be productive each day, even if I'm not really doing much. Cleaning is still being productive. Chopsticks and all. I hate when like the lids don't stop it from leaking. Why are you leaking? I could have sworn when I took a sip and tipped it, it leaked. Oh, maybe it's just on, so it's on one side. Y'all see that? Not okay, okay? So let me turn it this way. Okay, it's so just outside. There, is it, there needs to be instructions that say that. While I'm over here thinking I got a hole in my lip, thinking I'm dribbling and shit. But anyway. So I recently did my first um, photo shoot that I directed. Like I shot the pictures with my camera, my T5i. Of course, I picked my own outfit. And of course, I edited the photos myself, picked the location, like, they, I directed it. First time ever, because I'm really not into photo shoots. I really liked it. The reason I'm not really into doing photo shoots and stuff that often The reason I'm not that into doing photo shoots that often is because I don't know my face. Um which is also too why I'm like really bad with my um resting bitch face is because i just like i don't know my face i don't know my facial expressions unless i'm looking directly at myself if you ever shoot if you ever shoot 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 if you ever shot or done a photo shoot like you know you're not looking at yourself somebody's just taking the pictures of you i'm so used to doing solo like type of video type of talking to myself type shit you know so it's just super awkward for me when somebody's just like taking pictures of me. I can't see my face, I can't see how I look. And then in my head, I'm like thinking like, Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. So I just like psych myself out. I like the result though, I like the pictures. So that's why I do certain photo shoots. If you're a good photographer too, I'll probably wanna do it with you. Photo shoot, just don't get it twisted. Follow me on Instagram 
I did good with three O's. If you're going to see those photos, because they'll probably be up before this video's up. So check it out. I am like. super excited um I, I have like mixed emotions like um and not but not in a bad way at all like i'm so excited for my mom to get her surgery because i know she wants it so bad i know she's really excited um so her healing process please um definitely keep my mom in your guys's prayers just for a speedy recovery uh we are of course hoping and praying that everything goes well and that she recovers really fast so definitely keep her in your prayers for that um she is more than excited i will be going live so that you guys can speak with her during the actual procedure too which is like gonna be some crazy mess and that and i'm gonna be there you guys i'm gonna be there while my mom gets liposuction like talk about this talk about this i'm gonna be all up in it so yeah you know if you guys don't mind like leaving some like words of encouragement for my mom i don't really think that she's nervous but she is a lot less <laughs> i don't use a word that seems negative but i'm just i'm very brave with certain stuff and i'm like not really as scared about stuff like i'd be taking stuff on my mom she is a little bit she overthinks stuff a little bit more so you know if you guys want to leave her some words of encouragement um that would be great she, i know she would really appreciate that a lot she definitely has really appreciated all the support and love from you guys so tune into the q a on the day of um like i said her surgery is june 4th i will be posting like updates and stuff on instagram like as far as stories go and um yeah you guys will just have to check me out there and i think that that's it as far as like stuff that's just been going on you know i really just wanted to like sit down and have lunch with you guys now I want to get all cloudy so I'm not squinting and stuff anymore. I really just wanted to sit here and have lunch with you guys. And you know, switch up the tempo. I'm always in the beauty room inside so I'm just like, I'm just tired of doing the same stuff. So don't be surprised if you guys see me moving around my house, filming in different areas, just doing like different-ish like moot bombs that I said I was not gonna do. But I mean, honestly though, I said I wasn't gonna do moot bombs because I thought it was like some weird shit, you know? But I mean, if you guys don't mind watching me eat, I don't mind. It's the same thing as us eating lunch with each other, you know? I still got half of my delicious burrito for later. One of the best things about the one of the best things about sushi burritos is that you don't have to warm it up or anything. Like you can just toss it in the fridge, and then when you run to eat it, just take it out. Or I mean, if you're gonna eat it like kind of soon after you got it, like. You can just leave it out for a while. But yeah, um, thanks for eating lunch with me, guys. It was very nice of you. We have to do this more often. If you guys like, let me know. I'm always free. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me and eating lunch with me. Let me know if you guys want to do this again. Just like, you know, a little chit chat, a little chitty, chitty chit chat. Let me know if this is cool for you guys and we may make this into a thing. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also share with your friends if y'all want to, you know, if you're feeling it. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? I'm feeling it. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.